What's up YouTube, this is Sam with the Gent Mafia here, and I'm going to do something a little different. First, I want to get into a little update. The update that I'm talking about is that I'm going to be doing a podcast, actually. Uh, so it's going to be an audio podcast initially. I will post it on YouTube. I'll also provide a link to the, you know, the podcast on iTunes and stuff like that. I'll set all of that up. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much the big update. We're going to be doing a podcast. I'm going to try to do it weekly. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be coming up next week or the week after that. So it's still a week or two away before I upload that podcast. But look for that to be coming soon. Uh, and then, yeah, that's that's pretty much the only update I have. But I wanted to go ahead, and I was going through some of my old stuff. I was cleaning out my room. I found my old Pokemon cards, and this is what they're in. They're in, like, this tin. It's a little rusty. Uh, it's even got, like, this little pendant attached to it. But yeah, I don't... It's been years, oh, right off the bat. Uh, it's been years and years and years since I looked at these, and yeah, I even got those little silicone packets. So... Uh, I don't I don't even remember everything that I've got in here, to be honest with you. So I guess let's start from this side. Yeah, this is my Pokemon collection. This is what I've got right now. Uh, so we have a Butterfree... Uh, and I think, I think this you would do some sort of scanning thing with a Game Boy Advance game or something like that. I don't remember exactly. Uh, there's a Pidgeot, Clefable, uh, Light Dragonair. I remember this. this. They did like light and dark things like good and evil. Uh, there's a War Turtle, Bulbasaur. I guess I don't know. Maybe I'll organize these after that. Oh, I guess they are a little organized. So got Bulbasaur and Ivysaur. Then there's that Chikorita. A Nidoran, another Nidoran, uh, Nidorina. So this is what's left. Ooh, that's a cool Bulbasaur. This is what's left. Oh, wow. Hollow Caterpie. Uh, <laughs> all right. So we're going to actually talk this time. So this is what's left of my Pokemon collection. I actually had a ton of more cards when I was younger, uh, but I ended up getting rid of them just because I was like, oh, I've outgrown Pokemon, and they're, I'm not... They're not even cool anymore, so I don't even want these cards. So I ended up getting rid of a lot of my cards, and this is what's left. Uh, and I've, I'm just, I'm gonna keep them. There's Charmander, um, Squirtle, Totodile. This one's actually my favorite. This is my first ever Pokemon that I got when I was a kid. So Totodile, Totodile's my homie. Uh, there's another Squirtle. Oh, on some trainer cards: Gust of Wind, Switch, Plus Power, Defender. Abra, oh, these are all sticking together now. Abra, Kadabra, Kadabra, Abra, Drowsy, Charmander, Recycle, another War Turtle. Yeah, I'm going to have to go through and uh, organize these. Potion, oh, nice, there's a Hollow Lapras. Arcanine, okay, Arcanine's really cool. Uh, Geodude, Pokemon Center, Pokeball, Pidgey, Cyndaquil, so adorable. This, I... I know a lot of people like Cyndaquil over Totodile, and Cyndaquil's awesome. I love its evolutions and everything about it. All of its evolutions are cool. The second gen they did a really good job with. Pokeball, Charmeleon, War Turtle, Orenberry. It's a nice little shiny hollow there. Full Heal Onyx. Bill, draw two cards. That's busted. It's an automatic plus one right there. There's another Totodile. Squirtle. Dark Quilava, yeah, see? And then that's a nice little art, Cyndaquil. They did a really good job with the arts on the Pokemon cards. Oh, yeah, Team Rocket. There is, like, Rockets, Charizard, and stuff like that. I think I have one. I'm almost positive I do. Uh, Professor Elm, Bill's Teleporter, new Pokedex. Yeah, there's a Dark Charmeleon. Uh, Charmander, Gust of Wind. There's that Cyndaquil again. Oh, Mudkip. Mudkip's pretty cool. Trico was the one I actually ended up getting, though. Uh, Grovile... Vulpix, Light Vaporeon, that's cute. It's really cute looking. Torchic, Torchic's adorable too. Uh, Squirtle, Poliwhirl, another War Turtle, Staryu, Tentacool, Tentacool, Staryu, a Golduck, uh, Dratini, Growlithe, Growlithe, Charmander, Totodile, oh, that's an awesome art too. I love that one. Uh, Pidgey, Berry, Starmie, another Golduck. And these ones are actually out of cases. It's a Charmeleon. Oh, wow. And I have a Japanese Bayleaf and Crokinaw. Those are actually really cool arts. I, I like Bayleaf way better 
I think Bayleaf's actually probably my favorite out of that evolution chain. I even like it better than Meganium, and Meganium looks really cool. So I'm going to assume that these are like the mega like superstars. Some of these are in those like plastic top loaders. Oh, did a reveal. So obviously we got this Charizard right off the bat. This is like base set too. It's not like first edition uh, shadowless and like minted and everything like that. But this is what I got. I had this. I got this for my birthday. I was like uh, probably, I don't know, 10 I want to say. I was young. But my mom ended up getting me this, it was like $35 at the time, and I was like, this is what I want for my birthday, and so I ended up getting this Charizard, and this thing is just awesome. I actually looked at like what Pokemon are like right now, and like the 100 damage and like the 120 hit points is nothing. So like this guy wouldn't even be that good anymore, and like 4 energies for that. I never actually played the game, I just collected the cards. But uh, yeah, that's my, that's my pride and joy right there. So then here's like that ancient Mew that you got when you went and saw the movie, I think. Uh, but yeah, I've got that. I think I have a couple of these, actually. Uh, Feraligator. Like I said, Totodile was my first ever Pokemon, and then when I saw Feraligator card, I was like, oh, I gotta get this. So I went ahead and I picked up the Feraligator. He was awesome. Uh, Blastoise. And then we have a Japanese Venusaur. There's Meganium. Meganium, that's actually a really good art. I really like that. Oh, wow. Cool. There's Ho-Oh. Looking swag as ever. Uh, Charizard, I actually got this. Let's see, that was from... It was from, like, a county fair or something like that. They were selling, like, a Pokemon book. And it had Charizard uh, and then, like, Umbreon and Espeon and, like, a couple unknowns. So there's Blaine's Arcanine. Yeah, they did, like, a whole gym set, I think, if I remember correctly. They even put the levels on them. That's really cool. So there's couple Blazikins actually. So there's there's a hollow one, there's a yep, and then uh there's just a regular one. Looks like he's doing like a sky uppercut. And yeah, Peachy was another part of that set right there. Really cool looking. I like how they hollowed out. Scratches are all on the case. It's not the actual card, <laughs> it's just the case. Uh there's Rocket Scyther looking really, really cool. I really like that art. Dark Charizard looking really cool as well. Yeah, so I do have a Dark Charizard. If you couldn't tell, Charizard was one of my favorites when I was a kid, just like everyone else. So there's Rocket's Mewtwo. That's an awesome looking one. It's like powering up an attack. So there's another Egyptian Mew. Oh, this was another one that I really, really love, Lugia. It's just looking mean. It was an awesome card. Uh, so there's Latios. He was another one of my favorites. And there's Dragonite. That's just a really, really cool one. I wish that was hollow, but that looks awesome. Gosh, that would look amazing in hollow artwork. All the, that, like, rainbow background of colors. That looks really cool. Uh, we have the Dark Typhlosion as well. So that's looking really awesome. And then on to the last bit of cards we have. We've got another Hollow Latios. Looking cool. Uh, Dark Houndoom. That's a hollow as well. Houndoom was awesome. Hey, one of the original Scythers. That's cool. That looks awesome. God, I forgot how awesome these artworks were. So yeah, here's another one of those like QR code cards, I think. It's a Blastoise. That's a good one. Oh, nice Gyarados. Shiny as well. Uh, Dark Blastoise. Kangaskhan. Hey! Looks really cool. A lot of these older cards, they just have awesome artwork. They just look a little bit like more realistic, I guess. I don't know, you can see this. This looks a little bit more cartoony, a little bit more anime-ish. That's Eladius right there. Steelix. That's cool. Zapdos. I actually remember, I think this was one of my first hollows I ever got. I We were like out on the playground and Pokemon was banned, like the cards were banned a week later. And this was actually one of the ones I managed to like trade for. So I got this hollow Zapdos. Uh, Mewtwo EX. That looks cool. There's another Egyptian Mew. Bulbasaur. That's a really, that's some awesome artwork right there. Uh, Promo Arcanine, huh? That's awesome. Uh, Hollow Pidgeot. Looking cool as ever. Dark Blastoise. I think I have quite a few Blastoise, yeah. So there's like a pretty swag looking Blastoise right there. Oh my gosh, that Charmander art. Look at that. 
Rockus Charmander, that's looking really, really cool. Uh, another Totodile looking awesome as well. Charmeleon. Uh, Alakazam, nice, so we do have an Alakazam. Uh, Nido Queen looking cool. Hypno, another hollow right there. Yeah, here's uh, Espeon, so we should have Umbreon coming up pretty quick, I would assume. Uh, Onyx, this actually, so there's something really cool about this. There's a ton of these, well, not a ton of these cards, this is actually a pretty limited printing. Uh, but these tropical cards, if you got all of them together and you put them together in a certain way, it was almost like a puzzle, they would make a picture. Uh, and I think my brother has the Mew, and I've got Onyx, a Lapras. Uh, so there's Hollow Dark Weezing, there's a Hollow Golem, Hitmon Top, Clefairy, Scissor. Okay, so these little ridges at the bottom, I think this was a, like, a, a cutting error or something like that. I don't even remember how I got a hold of this card, but yeah, they just, they ended up cutting it weird, and so, can't really see it, I guess, unless you're looking at it from this way, but it's all textured and stuff like that just from the cut uh, so there's a pincer as well Pidgeotto this one I remember so this actually that little design right there means that it's a newer one it's like a reprint of like the original sets uh, but I remember I had the original set Pidgeotto and I really like Pidgeotto I just thought he looked really cool and I was trading for one and like I traded this kid we were sitting on my grandma and grandpa's back porch and I ended up dropping this card underneath the deck, and I was, like, absolutely devastated. And it was, like, in the middle of the deck, but my grandpa figured out a way. He, like, laid down, like, got something, and he managed to pull it out. It was a little dirty and stuff like that, but it was still, you know, I was super grateful for that. Um, but, yeah, the kid I traded with was kind of a scumbag. I think he dropped it down there on purpose. Uh, there's a Sabrina's Alakazam, and then Focus Band, Machop, getting real focused. Snorlax, of course, got to have Snorlax. Uh, Dark Machamp, and then to wrap it up, we have the Politoed. Nice. So that was my Pokemon collection. This is legitimately all the Pokemon cards I have right now. And like I mentioned, we are going to be doing a podcast. Um, I'd like to, you know, get it started off with like two, three people. We'll see how it goes. We still have a little bit of things to figure out before we have that up and loaded. Um, but yeah, keep an eye out for that. And as always, you know, guys, thanks for checking out my video. If you want to, if you thought the video was awesome, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Join the family, and I will be back with more videos for you guys. Thank you.